blessed among all men am I to have the honor of representing the great white throne of benevolence and mercy for all of mankind, to reveal the compassion of heaven as all merciful as it truly has always been. For love is not even love unless it's given away, and love only irresistibly desires to be irresistibly desired. A world has embraced conditional love. Conditional love is not even love. There is no conditions with love, or else it would not be love. These are the days that all of humanity must awaken out of the gross darkness of that understanding. For those who love are born of him and know him because God is love and that is his name. And Christ is love, that is his name. They are one, they are Elohim, one trinity of one. And know therefore that the emptiness of thought brings forth the fullness of ignorance. God's people have always been destroyed for lack of knowledge. And there is no darker darkness, no blacker blackness than ignorance of love alone. For forgiveness is love and love is forgiveness. They are truly one and the same. Many uh, religious people say, and when, when they hear peace, peace, you know, it's the big deception is here. But people, peace, peace, starts by love within one heart at a time. This world of angels in the flesh, my angels are we, Jesus said we are gods in John 10, but angels in the flesh are we, the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former, the first are last, the last are, are first. We were created last because we are the most shiny angelic being of them all of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands, commanding me, and I did, I am Elijah, I am Shiloh, I am Joshua of Zechariah Zachariah 3, the latter-day Daniel, water, steam, and ice, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, he is one, they are, <laughs> they are he, <laughs> he is they, and when the uh, Moses uh, foretold Elijah and named him Shiloh. It was because the first Elijah had not come. And by the way, the, the original is still coming, people, according to scripture, and I can prove it in a different video. But uh, I am not the original Elijah. I am the, the writer of Isaiah 28, the writer foretold in, uh, by Christ. He said that unless his word came forth anew to cut time short, no flesh could be saved. There is no way to cut time short except through God's word inspired of him coming again. So know therefore that ignorance is blackest thing on, in the world aside from uh, inaction, which perhaps is the worst sin of all to know to do good things in this world and not to do them. And know that this prophesied word of love can only reinforce anyone's lack of imagination about the great distance that our Father of Lights wants his people to go in creating a really good relationship between themselves and himself as love. And there is no condemnation walking with the Spirit with our love light on as long as we commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let our love light go out and we may now show ourselves approved unto his great white throne because he arises as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man he is our majesty of majesties he is the carpenter of the ages and the rod of his tongue is the hammer of God and he speaks destruction of all that would inhibit 
our spiritual understandings, all that was like looking through a glass darkly, all that was only known in part, he destroys, he rips that all down by giving the kingdom age covenant unto all mankind as it was all foretold to happen in the latter days. And in these latter days of Elijah, Israel has now inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. And they are called Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2, is their new name that God has named them in th at this appointed time because they have inherited all of Christianity, people thereof within their midst, and all the people of Islam. They have inherited all the Gentiles as it is foretold. So know that emptiness of thought does bring forth ignorance. Just as the desire to not to want to know about this this channel, this only Kingdom Age channel on the internet, can only reinforce anyone's lack of imagination. And it's time that we turn ourselves around because it's time to seek first the kingdom of God and his everlasting divine oneness and his infinite holy justice. And I can truthfully say, all those at this channel hearing the message that God has given me to the world, the just shall live by my faith because I am already as hell and I can only be as greedy thereof as I embrace all people of love unto myself if only they will open their eyes and open their hearts and mount up on eagles wings and ascend upon the peaceful winds of the most serene blowing of tranquility that the Lord is sending forth as as good tidings and blessedness with the winds of his favor at our back the tide of new understandings is with us and revelation of revelation comes to restore all things the days of Shiloh are the days of Hebrews 8 the obsolescence of all faith as it has been known for the Lord God is revealing himself as our beloved of the ages and it's time to view our Lord God in the fullness of the awesome character of absolute perfection, whom our living Lord of love is. And he shall send forth all the blessings uh, of heaven to all those with hearts that are not as shallow as a glass of water and unable to, to receive the, the, the blessedness of, of, of his best wishes for mankind and the direction that he is sending as a compass of love to, to show us the way so that all of humanity can turn uh, on a dime just like a flock of geese heading and all of a sudden how they just shift. But in order for that to happen, for the big shift to happen, people must adhere to the headship leadership of Elijah, who I am, the latter-day Daniel, messenger of God unto the world. And it's the Kingdom Age Covenant. I've given that covenant 3,000 times, and there's people out there, so <laughs> they're just ignorant. They just don't understand. Oh yeah, Jesus was the messenger of the covenant. Uh, how come he never even said it once? <laughs> You cannot be a messenger of something unless you repeat it. And he never repeated it once in his whole ministry. No, he is the writer. He is the sender of his message that prepares his way, Malachi 3.1. Even the perfection of his kingdom age covenant message that will go forth. And as Isaiah 41 predicts, even though Israel is not saying a mumbling word, a total ignorance towards the Elijah task ministry that I have been given. And I am standing in with God's absolute authority as Isaiah 49.12 says the scepter of all of his authorities in my hand. But even though that is true, all the rest of the world will come to realize that everything I'm preaching is correct and it has been foretold that uh, people, this has been uh, foretold since the beginning, the vision of God and it has come to pass. So know ye not the true meaning of beneficent 
beloved, because that is our magnificent one, Isa Yeshua, Jesus, who rises in the magnificence of his own beneficence. That's flowing love, the radiance thereof of all bene benevolence and charity, flowing as gushing rivers of the great ocean of his adoration that he's pouring out for one and all of us. Such knowledge of the bottomless, unfathomable depths of his love is knowledge that's far beyond the definition of vital. For the only light of knowledge, only the light of knowledge, overtakes the darkness of ignorance, which easily shall cause people to perish upon this here world, because such lack of illumination, heaven sent, can only destroy any of our divine uh, vision that we might have otherwise been embrace, embracing as a beacon of hope. Hope is calling out to each and every one of us. Deep calls unto deep, and Christ, Christ begs through his spirit of love to, to come and hear his word of peace. Uh, the most perfect gospel on the internet is this channel. So let every person under the umbrella of Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, which is all Chrislam, let them all now realize that the Lord's titles of love never came to an end, neither by Muhammad, neither by me, but his, his, his praise shall evermore be like rainy showers that will fall upon the earth. For his name alone, he is the charitable, the benevolent, and the maleficent. For he is the giver of philanthropy. And it's time to behold new revelation of Christ in time warnings. And it's time for an observation, if you will, an observation of love, if only we will turn on the wisdom of our heart and our mind to, to line up the plumb line of God so that our, 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 our soul and our heart are lining straight up with the great white throne. So let all those despising God's best promises of love ask who is it that will rain refreshing dew upon lost souls of hatreds hottest flame to put out their fires so that their spiritual burnings can finally cease and stop. And let them make an inquiry unto our living Lord God. And let them ask, who is it causing the sun to shine upon such haters, to disperse the darkness within them so such hypocrites could hide their inward polluted waters? Who? So verily, verily, I, Daniel of Windsor, Elijah, that was to come, Shiloh, uh, I now say unto all those of all creeds, or none, that our Lord, Son of Righteousness, and the crescent moon of hope, shall now give light to the, all those in darkness, while teaching people of all religion, or none, uh, that there's something extraordinary happening within our universe right now, right at this very moment in the hour where even the New Jerusalem has been revealed. Google it, uh, New Jerusalem NASA, and you will see Hubble telescope pictures of the New Jerusalem incoming. And so by the decree of our ageless authority, authority can't say it, authoritarian, uh, shall air all obedient people of his love begin shining his love on both the just and the unjust alike for it rains upon all equally and know that what's really important is that people will will be shining God's love even to the most evil souls of people that have been on the road of perishing, trying to let their love light go out so that they could for, uh, commit the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So come out of the land of the walking dead. Let your love be as a little child again, as a verb. Quit having your, your love just be a thing, a noun, hanging out, having a form of godliness, but denying the power of love. That is God. That is his name, First John 4, 7. And unto him alone, to our living Lord God, shall every knee bow and every tongue shall confess love. 
whom is Christ the Lord Jesus. And if the Lord's uh, Son of Hope didn't shine upon people uh, desiring his peace, then their bodies would swiftly be withering away and perishing like some weeds in the grass. But the most beautiful light of the Lord's rising sun of love and the moon thereof shines upon even the weeds so that they also would prevail to go forth and to choke the grapevine. But if the grapevine prevails instead and shades such weeds, then that vine would would spread and flourish, for it alone could inherit the land that it grows in, and every place it's shaded, it would then dominate. So it's time for the great grapevine of God's vineyard to come, and when it grows up, it would take control of the land and be bountiful for its master as it pleases him evermore, for he would have suffered great pains on account of those weeds until the Lord uprooted them. But the great vine's shade could only choke them, and they would then die and be, become like soil reduced back as to what it was before their beginning. Therefore, such souls of love and hope evermore should never lose Christ's hope, even if they don't see the desire of their eyes now. Faith comes by believing. And when patience calls unto all people to follow with our Lord God's help, it shall be more now in these days than ever before. For these are the days of Revelation 3's trial of all flesh that has come to bring God's word of patience to keep us all from the hour of the temptation not to change by Christ's light of love. So when deep calls unto deep and when patience comes unto those who are obedient with the Lord's help, even though such ways are steep, even if they're going two steps forward and one step back, they're gonna go into the right direction of love. And when the hardest ways of patience are yielded to, finally, great shall be the fruit thereof, even though it has been such a bitter, bitter road. The road of patience is excruciating painfully so to our spirit and to our soul but never should anyone ever forget that the honest work of humble hands is a daily prayer of thanksgiving let us do that for the music of a, a plow is a very joyful song unto our living lord god of always some things can never change people Neither should it ever be out of mind that anyone foolishly eating the bread of idleness would eventually die of hunger. For a field of stones can only yield just stones. And it's also a divine truth unto the minds of the idle uh, are always full of weeds of discontent. So it's time that we, like Michael Jackson's song, uh, we got to have a little talk with that man in the mirror and know that he who walks with good ethics for his faith of love has within themselves a blessed field that's fertile and where sweet scented herbs and flowers can grow spiritually most abundantly within them. And as God governs the laws of nature, so do, do we have our own choices with our own heart which way we will be led. For as a man sows, so sh shall they reap. Therefore, if anyone finds satisfaction in their spirituality of love, they never need to ask for any other blessings than that. For if anyone truly loves his faith of love, blessed are that person, uh, as they passionately call on God, as they imagine him to be, with the fervor of the greatest kind of expectations. For it's time that we call out in love to him, whatever we call him. Micah 4 says, and they will walk in the name of their God, and we will walk in the name of our God in peace and love, with no more name calling and no more dirt, no more throwing sand in the sandbox. It's time that we all get along together.